Hey folks, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas on the Mysterious JG. That last video was a little short, but that previous video where I had to combine two together ended up being like almost 10 minutes over length anyway. Because the follow-on video, which I was going to make short, ended up being pretty much full. So it all works out, I guess. At any rate, we are right at the entrance to Janestown. We have a pretty good reputation, and I ain't packing, so I feel like we should be able to walk into the town of super mutants who... From what I understand, are not hostile humans, and we ought to be able to to make peace. Someday, I miss being in the master's army. Someday, maybe Fred will win the fight. Then that cat will stay up for the Welcome night. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. Hey, buddy. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. You, Michael Dorn. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. I'm looking for Dr. Henry. Doc's inside the lodge. I had some questions about Jacobtown, and also about the Fraha ceremony, which you will do to honor your father. Such as? I had some questions about I Am Weasel. No. What's the history of Jacobstown? It was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. Probably a reference to a previous game. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Town's far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting, just get along. I don't know. Um, I've mentioned before that Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas are really unpopular with some of the old school Fallout game fans. New Vegas less uh, despised than Fallout 3. And I don't know if when they drop references to previous games, if that makes those people more inclined to like the games or more inclined to hate them. Like the Doctor Who fans who get... who recognize references to old Doctor Who stories but get all upset when they hear them because they think that's going to alienate new fans. Uh, or in the case of the Fallout purists, who are like, they are tarnishing the legacy of real Fallout, which is not this. I'd like to know about you. I'd like to get to know you, oh yes I would. I'd like to get to know you. Was part of the super mutant army. Ran a town, walked the wasteland with the tribal. But now, now do you I'm use, here. you know, noble savage ar uh, grammar or not? You can't keep switching back and forth. Super mutant army? You were the mayor of the super mutant nation? Long story, so here's the short version. The Master created the Super Mutants and Night King. The Master thought the he master. could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. It didn't end well. You were a mayor? Town was broken hills. Bunch of Super Mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. Tell me about the uh, tribal. We were looking for a get to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually, we did. Nuked an oil rig in the process. That would be Fallout 2. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. Um, yeah, I don't know who he's talking about. I never played those games. Maybe when Grimmith gets around to doing Fallout 2, I'll figure it all out. Although this might be based on Fallout Tactics or other Fallout projects that were canceled. Who knows? Let's talk about something else. All right. Why do some of the super mutants here dislike the NCR? A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. Sailor Moon, another story. Do, 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 do. What do you know about the Legion? You don't. I haven't really gotten the option to insult him, which is, I wouldn't be taking it. It would be kind of a foolish choice. But it's surprising I don't have the option, dialogue option, to be like, "Oh, Super Mutant, you are a weirdo." What do you know about the Legion? Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades. Why he knows so much about this? Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. 
We'll see to it. Not because he should be dumb because he's a super mutant. I'm just like, why does he know what Kaisar's personal motives are? Maybe they got backstory. Maybe it makes sense. I am just don't have the fact. What makes the NCR too ambitious? Well, they're basically like America, as seen by the rest of the world. Haven't you heard? They expand. Fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west? They'll do it here. They keep rolling over. People. They keep rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling That's how revolution. What? Yeah. Limp Biscuit sucks, folks. If you like Limp Biscuit, please feel free to stop watching my LP and start watching a video of Naruto clips that have been edited to Limp Biscuit music. Anything else you can tell me about the NCR? Not edited. Just watch his clips of Naruto with Limp Biscuit music playing. Seen them grow from a single town. Why am I talking about Shady that? Sands into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. Do you have any dealings with New Vegas? Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. All right. What's wrong with the Nightkin? And who are the Mythbusters? Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys, so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. Are there any town rules I need to know about? Like, don't stare at the Nightkin? Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. Good party. See you. So he told me where the dock was, but I've already forgotten. And uh, he doesn't have anything to steal. And it would have been pretty foolish to try. So we got a little introduction to Jacobstown. Seems like it could be a nice place to be. I wonder if it has a lot of named super mutants or just a lot of generic super mutants. I hope it will snow later. What? Spotted some humans down the road. Could be great cons again. I don't know if the great cons and the super mutants would get along particularly. Great cons are kind of a complex bunch. They're like drug dealers. They, you'd think in any video, in any normal video game, they'd be bad guys, but. They're kind of, they've, there's a story, and they've got their sign to it. Fiends, on the other hand, seem to be pretty much just bad. Lily. Jimmy! Little Jimmy! My, how you're grown up! So good of you to come visit your grandma. Who's Jimmy? Oh, Jimmy, don't you go being silly now. Come over here and give your grandma some sugar. Give me some sugar, baby. I think you have me confused with someone else. I... Oh, of course I have, dearie. How silly of me. I didn't take my medicine yet today. How can I help you? Um... Spoiler alert, I suppose. I did come across a list of potential companions at one point. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is one of them. What do you do in Jacobstown? I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures, but sometimes they get ornery, just like my grandkids. Although maybe not, because I don't really see the uh, dialogue tree that would lead there. Talk to you soon, dear. Yeah, so, like he said, I was about to comment on how nice the place looks, and I realized, yeah, he explained this is a, uh, a vacation lodge. So, that makes sense, that it kind of looks nice. Appears to have been far enough uh, away from the city that it didn't get hit too bad by nuclear whoppets. 
It's an interesting Another human. One was enough. One was enough. Game doesn't really um or what was I thinking? I lost my train of thought. Um yeah, well an interesting thing with this game is um just the they tone down on the devastation a bit. I mean it makes sense. This place is just not as badly affected by the war as the area around uh, Washington DC would be. So I'm comparing it to Fallout 3, of course. Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Do you have a problem with humans? Humans are always staring at things. We Nightkin don't like being stared at. Is is uncomfortable. How does that make How does that make you different from some humans? It is different. Right now, I'm trying very hard to remain civil, and you're not making it easy with your incessant questions. Who's the other human you mentioned? Dr. Henry. He's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. What do you do here? I represent the Nightkin. And the Lollipop Guild. They lead this town, but the Nightkin listen to what I have to say. Doesn't mean I don't respect Marcus for what he's trying to do. However, he doesn't truly understand the difficulties of being a Nightkin. Why are the Nightkin here in Jacobstown? The stealth boys we use have cumulative adverse effects on our minds. Jacobstown was supposed to be a sanctuary, a place to find a cure. Instead, we wait and wait. I'm sick of waiting. Goodbye. Finally, the rock has come back to Jacobstown. None of these people have anything worth stealing. Alright, well, forget about going around in the dark. If Staring silently at, silently at him may or may not have triggered... Uh, there's Dr. Henry. Hey there. Hey, buddy. May or may not have triggered uh, him to turn hostile. Calamity, I'll talk to you first. Oh. I'd heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Nice to meet you. I'm Calamity. You sure are. You have an interesting name. Thank you. Change names and jobs every decade or so just to keep things interesting. I picked Calamity this time because it sounded nice. I think Calamity, yeah. Never really done much science yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think your, your face I'm is a Calamity lady, I'm sorry. Or so Dr. Henry tells me. What do you do here? Most of the time, I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh... I'm also handy with tools. And once in a while, I venture down into the valley to trade the big horner hides and meat for supplies. I need something repaired. Uh, does anyone other than Super Mutants come up this way? Pardon me, folks. Doctor's <coughs> looking for salvage, usually. Sorry. They always run when they see the mutants. The great cons come this way once in a while, but they keep their distance. I think they're mostly keeping an eye on us. All right, let's see what kind of crap they're selling. All right. You shouldn't even have enough caps to be worth selling too. This thing's worth nothing. Probably should not have uh, tricked that kid into selling it for 20 caps because it's worth less than that. Let me take a look. What does she charge for repairing stuff? Um, half my caps, she could get that thing into better shape than it is. Although I've got half a mind to up upgrade to a different uh, close range damage. Uh, still range, but close range weapon. Bye. Sniper rifle is obviously my ranged weapon. This is red. No, I can uh, read this freely. Astonishingly enough, the local Night Stalkers have developed a mutation not unlike the stealth field generated by Stealth Boys. Even more importantly, the brains I've dissected haven't shown heightened levels of endorphins and other neurochemicals similar to what I've seen in Nightkin brains. If this mutation is natural, perhaps a cure could be synthesized from the Night Stalkers. As far as I can tell, the Night Stalkers don't suffer from schizophrenia like the affected Nightkin. 
Stuff by Mark II prototype is functional, sort of. The Enclave data wasn't complete, so I had to make a few guesses here and there. Unfortunately, the data all suggest that while the stealth field has a greater duration, the negative effects, these are exponentially greater. I can use this to my advantage. The brainwaves change will be more pronounced. It will be much easier to figure out what exactly is needed to cure the night kitten schizophrenia. Lily has graciously volunteered to be my test suspect subject despite the risk. Oh, this is bad news. He is, uh, he's got, he's, he knows that this, these devices, the stealth boys, which the Nightkins just really feel the need to use, are degrading their brains. So he's found a way to accelerate the process because that'll make his research easier. I don't know whether they get that or not, or if this is going to be uh, a problem, a, cause, a source of some tension, I think. They don't seem to trust humans much to begin with. Keen seems to have caught on about the Stealth Boy Mark II prototype. Yep, I told him that it was no way functional, but I'm not entirely sure he believes me. I'll have to keep an eye on him. Hello. Hello. I assume this is about something important. You're interrupting my research. Punch you in the face. Something's wrong with my cyber dog. I was told to come to you. It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak, Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Oh, yeah. Aside from her, I know that the Fiends and Caesar's Legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. I don't know if Gibson's going to want to give me one of her dogs. Or she might want to keep Rex. Search for an exceptional canine brain amongst Caesar's Legion. Interesting. You go to scientist. If you want knowledge, get a scientist. Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. You were with the Enclave? Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye. I have bought so to I bought. It was the right decision since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Canine neuroscience? Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. He's former Enclave, and he knows a woman, this this old woman, the old lady Gibson, who's about his age, and is a really good mechanic. And we've been seeing these little messages about Enclave who are in the area. We see them on the loading screen sometimes. So I'm pretty pretty sure that She's Enclave, and I think the old woman at Novak who runs the hotel might be Enclave too, although at this point, now that I'm thinking about it, any character above a certain age in this game, I begin to suspect they're Enclave. So far, they're all Caucasian too, although I don't think that's going to be an tr Enclave trait. It would make sense in a way to this kind of hyper-conservative... <sighs> I don't want to say racially pure, but they're this kind of dogmatic, pure... Um, society, uh, people who were shielded from the radiation radiation of the war and think that the people who were exposed are less than human, and they're kind of this dark side of, you know, modern ultra-conservatives, U.S. patriots, but I, I'm thinking that all the ones I've, all the plot ones have been white, I don't know if, uh, when you f kill random Enclave soldiers and remove their armor in uh, any of the games, you might find some ones that are, you know, various ethnic groups. If we must. What are you working on? The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. What are Night Stalkers I've also again? I've my hands on a working have stealth run boy into them? to prototype. But that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. I'd like to help. What do you need me to do? I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big harness to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. Hmm. What makes you think the Night Stalker mutation isn't natural? 
I've compared the brain chemistry of a nightkin to one of the local night stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that night stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. Why is the stealth mar boy mark too riskier? The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject, and Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. Does Stealth Boy... Does Stealth Boy use hurt humans? I misread use as a verb there. It's like, does Stealth Boy use hurt humans? Uh, uh, sorry, I thought it was retarded, but it was me being retarded. It's possible, but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nikon. Why are you helping the Nikon? Why are you Marcus helping asked me to, the Nikon? And because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning. I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. I'm surprised to find another human here. I prefer the solitude. And having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. Safe, I can see. Well, no. I was going to say quiet, no. Super mutants, in my experience, tend to go around yelling a lot. But safe, no. They tend to go around smashing things. But these super mutants are probably a little different from the ones I'm used to. Goodbye. Yes, yes. Guy's kind of a jerk. We keep finding scientists who are, you know, jerks. Oh, okay, so that's a nice doctor. Night, night train. It's a reference to something from my own internet past. There is no reason that you would understand why I'm. <laughs> what was with the fire and ice theme from WCW? That has nothing to do with the night train anyway. I guess. Big, big owners. We're making noise all night again. You think Marcus could get us some mini guns? What missile launchers? You uh, need to calm down, buddy. Hey, a snow globe from Mount Charleston. I suppose anything's possible. Are you really interested in my opinion on this, buddy? And none of these things are marked as you can't steal, but I'm not seeing any dresses, Veronica. Yeah, it really does. Okay, it appears like I'm supposed to get Lily to go with me on a quest. I have to put some thought into this. Whether I want to take a uh, give Lily a little rest. The thing is, it would it would just feel really mean to uh, have uh, to kick Lily out of our party temporarily, even. Right after we convince her to leave the Brotherhood. It's where she spent her whole life. We convince her to leave, then ditch her. That would be kind of messed up. Veronica! Veronica! Actually, I use a couple hours of sleep in this game. Where I got sleeping sickness. For some reason, I can't open that. Veronica patiently waiting in the hallway. You wait in the hallway patiently. I think she's uh, she's going senile after all, so she doesn't even realize that she's been waiting in the hall. She has no idea who she's waiting for. She's probably mumbling the name of her her lover who died flying Spitfires over the uh, channel. Veronica. Okay. Voices in my head are getting louder. Oh, I, I do feel sympathy for them. I just really feel like I'm likely to get killed by them. So many staring eyes. So many staring eyes. 
pain won't go away. Don't look at me. Don't you fucking look at me! Mommy, mommy, baby wants to fuck. Sorry, um, blue velvet. Don't look at me! Don't you fucking look at me! Spotted some humans down the road. Could be great. Ooh, I kinda hope so. I love it with great cons are around. I'm going around getting good sleep. I like my great convoy, it's pretty good. Okay, so this would count as theft. I'm gonna start stealing stuff from the super mutants without being, uh,. In possession of a good save. He... Someone's watching me. I can feel it. Yeah, I was watching to see if you'd noticed me. Oh, these don't count as theft for some reason. Yeah, they're not very consistent with that in this game. Turn on that radio wouldn't do anything because I turned the radio sounds down. Doctor's bags are good to have, although I'm not getting injured in the limbs very often. I seem to, A, have run into every uh, mine in the game, and B, just uh, not getting shot up as much. See, those are red. I don't get it. I don't know if there's any particular reason we want to break into Marcus's room, but, uh... The model of selflessness. But we got the lockpicking skill, so we might as well. I hate losing lockpicks. Yes, that's right, folks. It's going to be 30 minutes of me trying to unlock this door to end this video. percent chance if I try to force the lock. I know there's a code for the uh, hacking minigame. I don't know if there's a code to get extra chances with the door pick minigame. By extra chances, I don't know what I mean other than it gives you bobby pins. Something good in here, damn it. He's got sexy sleepwear, folks. stolen it. We stole a Nightkin's sexy sleepwear. Don't think that would count as a dress for uh, Veronica. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Hey, I can't really move now, but I'll follow you in spirit. I wonder if she was going to react to that. Me giving her lingerie. Someone watching me. 
Apparently she doesn't. Feel it. Just want to let you know, Veronica. <laughs> hmm. Radio stuff on the bed, eh? Thing is that I think if we go into the actual a Monica, a Monica, if we actually go into New Vegas at long, long last with Veronica and our party, I think that's where we can potentially get her a dress that she'd like. Maybe we'll, maybe I'll let Veronica go after we get her the dress. Because I am starting now to feel like, A, I, I either need to, A, rush through and finish this game compl outright. Or, uh, B, take my time and explore the different companion quests. Although if I use a, um, if I consider that I've already proven that I can handle the game on, and don't worry about using, uh, Don't worry too much about using the uh, wiki to get through the companion quests quickly. Because it can take a long time to get the companion quests to trigger. If you don't know how to do it. Uh, maybe then I'll... Uh, they won't take that long. Getting a lot of good reading in here. The uh, super mutants are trying to expand their minds by uh, reading, and uh, I'm making it difficult by stealing uh, all their stuff. I'd better do some nice quests to help them because at this point I'm just being a douchebag who's kind of messing up uh, their uh, little library they got here. I thought for a second there's somebody actually over there in that corner. It's kind of cool. Doesn't work, but it's kind of cool that they've got a pinball machine. All right, well. Someday, I miss being in the master's office. That would be nice. Yeah, it's drugs on the floor. So the question is... If we do bring Rex back using a different dog brain, have we really saved Rex? Philosophical question for you folks. Think about that one. And think about why surgical tubing does not count as theft, but other things do. Sensor, mod sensor modules do not count as theft. I have a feeling this book doesn't count as theft. Seems like certain items are tagged as theft. Pencils won't... Yeah. It's following the pattern. Pencils won't... Drugs will... Not sure I see what the rhyme or reason to it is. Teddy bear probably will be theft. No, it's not. Is that a uh, landmine or something? Oh, it's a electric fan. Thought it might have been a landmine, so I decided to rush up to it. Stupid big owners. These foot lockers do not count as theft, but they're empty, so who cares? All right, I'm getting tired of this. Although I did find some nice magazines and stuff, it's nice to have the magazines around for you know unexpected emergencies, skill checks. I'm always really reticent to use them if I don't know that I've got one or two in uh, reserve. Let's uh, open the safe and then save the game. And I need to put some thought. Well, you know what? Let's open the safe 
get out of here and go see lady uh, go see miss gibson old lady gibson i don't want to play around with the trying the legion well we can at least talk to her and see what she has to say Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in here i may be overburdened now nope still good the rest of this counts as theft sort of that safe but the safe I was willing to steal because I got experience for it oh good and I did the whole loop so I'm actually done here um, so we got a quest we can do to help these guys out and we'll get around to that eventually although I only need to think about at what point we're going to... We need to make a decision, folks, and sadly, I've had a long recording session going, so unless I wait a really long time, I'm going to have to make the decision without getting feedback from you guys. But I might have to let Veronica have a little rest. Uh, need to tighten up my vices again. Your what? Spotted on humans down the road. Could be playing cards and stupid. Yeah, super big horns making noise. Gotcha. Gypsum train yard. That's. Talk to old Lady Gibson. See what she's got going on. See how she's doing. Having a big psychopathic Nightkin for a, a follower might be fun. But I also liked uh, what little glimpse we got of the personality of the captured electrician slash mechanic guy who was captured and held prisoner on Black Mountain. He seemed like he'd be a fun companion, too. Just keep coming here and waking old Lady Gibson up. Oh no, the dogs are over there pawing at her. Is she dead? Nope. Evening. Unless she's still living dead. So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Well, you were going to trigger a quest with Eddie. Dr. Henry sent me. I need a new brain for my cyber dog. Dr. Henry? Now, there's a name I haven't heard in years. Hard to believe. Dr. Who? Ooh, As for your dog. request, it's uh, a bit ghoulish, if you ask me, but Ray is pretty old, and I'll probably have to put him down soon enough. As for the price for this favor, 700 caps sounds about right. Raise like family, and I've got other dogs to take care of. Look, lady, you know how many prostitutes I could get for that? How did you meet Dr. Henry? He and I had joined up with the same caravan. And the Yonkley. Add in a lot of whiskey and, huh, well, let's just say... We got to know each other. <laughs> These dogs are our children! <laughs> GG, cut it out. I think I got a barter magazine I can use to win this challenge. Alrighty then. So, I won't bother with, uh, I mean, I guess I could save money. I could save money and, and try to figure out what the leads are for the, the Legion or the, well... Let's take a second. Let's, let's, let's talk about those monster trucks. Let's take a, a look at uh, the quest markers. Uh, I believe this quest marker is actually uh, the headquarters for Caesar's Legion that we can't even get to. And uh, I don't... C one for the fiends, although it would be Vault 3 if there was anything. But I don't think there's uh, an icon of Vault 3, is there? No, I think it's going to be Old Lady Gibson. Unless I want to wait and do this quest a lot later. Science plus 20. Uh, barter plus 20 is what I'm looking for. All right, start at the top. What is it? Tales of a jerk town, ju uh, junk town jerky vendor, isn't it? Maybe I don't have one. That would kind of suck. 
You can have everything else. Game has been really generous about oh, Salesman Weekly. Game is that Tales of the Junktown Jerky Bender, I think, is the permanent increase of two, which is doubled to four uh, when you have the, the proper perk. I think, um, yeah, um, what the hell was I thinking? I can't think at all. Um, the game has been, I don't know if you want to say generous or if it's just kind of making it too easy that uh, usually there is a speech and a barter challenge for these things. For her, it looked like it was just barter. Can we save in case it was actually just speech and I'm remembering wrong? And poor, poor old lady's trying to get back to bed, and I'm gonna make her just like wake up and cut the brain out of your dog. <laughs> I hope that's the dog who's gonna die. I think it is. So you're back. Now He's like, no, no, please don't listen to them. Let's talk about Ray's brain. I'm gonna be off. I'm offering Ray immortality of a sort. Are you really gonna put a price on that? Fair enough. Here, Ray. Mama's got something for you. Oh, that's <laughs> fucked up. That's fucked up. Ray's brain added. You got nothing to say about this lady? So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Is there anything else I can kill for you? Take care now. Oh, Lady Gibson, you are one fucked up mama jama. All right. Well, let's fix our dog, and then we'll uh, end the video. How's that sound? How does that grab you, folks? Kind of grabs you by the popo, doesn't it? Oh, never mind. There was an optional marker at Vault 3. Well, too late now. I got Ray's brain. They saved Ray's brain. Like Hitler's brain? Never mind. So at the end of um, Top Secret episode, you have to shoot. Uh, Got a problem? You? Could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. How have they been harassing the town? Killing our big horners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. You sure these mercenaries work for the NCR? Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. Why can't you just take them out? Not looking to fight. That will give NCR an excuse to come up here and wipe us out. What do you want me to do? You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. Uh, you'll pay me after that? See what I can do. Thanks. Eddie has returned to Prim. Unfriendly persuasion. Uh, where the hell's the entrance to this place? I need to go talk to the doctor again. Here goes Eddie and we'll... And we'll be working with it for a few days. Eddie's upgrades are complete. Now, actually, I believe uh, who you give Eddie to... I, I read about this, too. I, I got open the wiki and I started reading about some things I was wondering about that I had already come across and was too late to spoil. And if you give Eddie to the Brotherhood, uh, basically, it makes very little difference. Um, it's harder to get him to the Brotherhood because... If you hadn't already done all the Brotherhood stuff I had done, you'd have to do some stuff with the Brotherhood to get them to trust you. But uh, basically, um, he gets more attack if uh, you give him to the followers. He gets more defense, a lot more defense, if you give him the Brotherhood. Uh, if I had it to do over, the Brotherhood gives him a, something that's more useful to me. Because Eddie keeps getting killed. Um, but... I really was not feeling like cooperating with the Brotherhood at all after the events of uh, the videos that immediately preceded what, so... Yeah. Is there something else I can do for you? What can I do for you? I have a new brain for X. Very well. Show me what you've brought so that I can analyze its potential. This brain is from Ray, one of old Lady Gibson's dogs. All right, let's see here. Neural pathways look good. Definitely a breed of guard dog. 
If I transplant this brain into Rex, he'll be a bit more ferocious in his attacks. And he won't have a problem with hats anymore? Transplant Ray's brain into Rex. Have a seat. This will take a while. Rex has gained the Faithful Protector perk, increasing his attack damage. And I got thirsty. I got minor dehydration. And minor starvation. Oh, because hours passed. I got problems with HTO and FOD. Oh, and now I'm overburdened. Because I'm hungry, and that decreases your strength. Alright, well, I really need to end this video, and I think this will be the last one for the recording session anyway, so... Let's have, uh... Oh, that's right, I got big horner steaks now. I'll actually have more strength than I need for this crap. I guess now that we fixed the dog, we can go talk to the king, but I think there'll probably just be a really short smattering of not particularly satisfying dialogue, and then it'll turn out we get to keep him. So as long as this video this video is going long, but it's the last one of the play session, I tend not to care as much for that for those for some reason. So we'll go check with uh, the king, and then I guess we'll go to Prim and see if we can have Eddie and Rex at the same time. And if not, you know I don't have a problem with Rex, but we got 500 experience for completing a quest with Rex, but Eddie's my boy. Eddie's been with me longer than anybody. Uh, unless I got Veronica first. I honestly don't remember. But yeah, I mean, you know, I don't have a problem with Rex. He seems like a good companion. But, um, I mean, his, his true home is with the king. I have a feeling the game will not let me give him to the king. Are you coming after me to kill me or no? You're you're a king. No what the hell's going? Oh, those are thugs. Got experience. I was kind of hoping I would get a. Uh, hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says happy to keep up time fun work. points for free side. I'm, they're, they're going around giving me stuff, so apparently just being liked is enough. Straight Razor? I don't think I've come across that item before. Bonus critical damage, bonus critical chance. Kind of cool. I think when my strength bonus from the Brahmin Steak wears off, I'm going to be overburdened, though. Um, and I don't know where I am. I thought I did, but I'm... Not really finding uh, where the kings are. Yeah, I'm on the wrong screen. Alright, but if I head up this way, I should be able to get to the right screen. This is the, the Mormon Fort. Yeah, if I uh, bear left up here, I should be able to. Well, if I bear left up here, I should be staring right at where the kings are. Ah, where's. Starting to, the streets are getting littered with the bodies of dead thugs. Yeah, you don't need a security guard to escort you through if I clean out the entire population of criminals. With deadly force. What's up? Hey, man. Hey, man. Yeah, we've gone way over on this video. Sorry, folks. But the king should be easy to find. I thought the game had died there for a second. I ain't there with boy, this buddy. Rexy, you look all better, boy. Good as new. Did my Rexy get a new brain? <laughs> I guess he knew that's what was going on the whole time. He sure did. You're a man of your word, no doubt about it. I can't thank you enough. If you want, hold on to Rex for a little while longer. I'm sure he'd enjoy that. 
Was there anything else you wanted? Nah, see? Really no explanation. Uh... There's me, but I don't really like talking about... Okay. Garrett twins up at the Wrangler deserve mention. Garrett Wouldn't twins. Wouldn't be right not mentioning the Van Gr Van Graffs. Okay, there's nobody here that I haven't, haven't uh, interacted with in some way. I think there might be more stuff to do that might not trigger till I get to Vegas. And yes, indeed, there doesn't appear to be any way to give uh, Rex back. And very little explanation or, you know, it was nice. I, I could have said, you two want to be alone? And he probably would have been like, <laughs> you got a good sense of humor, nerd boy. That's about all I would have gotten. I don't think he was going to take the dog back. I suppose I could go back to the wiki as I've been doing far too often recently in what's supposed to be a blind hardcore LP uh, and confirm, but yeah, I think pretty much the dog's yours forever. So let's go to Prim. Uh, and if I can have Eddie and uh, Rex at the same time, then I see no reason not to. But, um,. Um, Rex is actually probably kind of a bad choice as a companion for somebody who, although I don't have the highest sneak skill, as high sneak skill as I probably should have to play this style. Right now I've got 100 uh, gun skill and a silenced sniper rifle. Tumbleweed. Awesome. And I'm thirsty again. And yeah. There's uh, Ruby. Ruby Nash. Hey, man. Down where give? Ruby Nash, see. Hey! Companion Protocol Conflict Rex. I knew it. I only have one follower at a time. Rex. You know, if I give Rex up, he pro if, he, if he goes back to where you get him, he'll probably go back to the king then. That's fair enough. Uh, you guys can write in and tell me if you think this is bad and you'd rather see me with uh, Rex. But, I mean, Eddie, he's, he's been my guy. Um, honestly, I'd feel better about letting Veronica go find her own way in the waste. Even after all that we've been through together and all the plot stuff with getting her to leave her brotherhood... I'd almost feel better about giving the crazy Nightkin a try and letting Veronica return to just wandering the ways than leaving poor Eddie here. I'm over encumbered and cannot run because I wanted to get my my gear off of him before talking to Eddie. Who is where where'd you go, Eddie? Eddie, you're still flying around, right? Maybe I can ask him about the robot. I doubt I'll have anything to say. Hey there, youngster. That beat up old pile of bolts. Hey, did it ever say anything? You ever hear it say anything on? Can't say that I have. Of course, I never saw it running for long, so I never heard it do much of anything. Thought maybe the fact that Eddie flew back here would mean that Eddie thought of this place as home. But clearly, Eddie thinks of Novak as home. Come on, my friend. Eddie? Eddie, my friend. Oh, that's right. I have to dismiss Rex first. I'm sorry, boy. I, I don't feel good about this, mind you, but... It's time for us to part ways. Yes, I'm sure. Go on back to the king. You'll be fine. Yeah. Lost his wretch search and mark perk. He's returned to Freeside. So he goes back to the king. He'll be fine. Now, maybe if I wanted to be really conscientious about it, I could have uh, had Eddie... Um, I could have left him at Freeside and come to get Eddie, but I didn't know for sure that Eddie couldn't come along with Rex. I kind of figured, I guessed as much. Yeah. Eddie, give you the enhanced sensors perk. That's where I have to give him a bunch of crap to carry. Well, the next time I play the game, I'll have to take some time and uh, 
see the things I never had. Oh, I can wear my damn traitor hat without fear. <laughs> that was just a weird little plot thing. Harmonica. Oh, Monica, this is all stuff that should be taken care of off camera. All right, folks, when we come back, we've got Eddie back. Uh, we fixed up Rex and sent him back to the king, so hopefully they'll be friends again. Uh, when we come back, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Got a lot of options. Uh, I could push into New Vegas because I believe that's where we can get a dress for Veronica, and then we could basically say goodbye to her. Although, probably if I do that and pick up another companion, uh, unless I really prefer their combat approach, I'll... Uh, Probably once I've tried another companion or two, just for funsies, I'll end up getting Veronica back for the final battle. Uh, I did take a sneak peek at, or rather, this this was given. This information was given to me without me seeking it out. But then I sought out some after I got a little taste of it. The endings for the characters. Uh, if you go through and, and have a character, and uh, do their quests for them, then they get the same ending whether or not they're in your party at the end. So, and uh, you don't get an ending meant like if I never get the guy who. Um, I believe if I never get the guy who uh, was trapped up at Black Mountain to join my party at all, he doesn't appear in the ending at all. Although just freeing him might mean that he get his default ending when you don't do his quests appears. I'm not sure. Anyway, folks, I'm going to shut up. When I come ba when we come back, I will have finished giving stuff to Eddie and probably done some off-screening of getting caps, maybe even getting some more um, implants, and uh, we'll be ready to continue with more adventures. We'll either... Uh, go do some favors for the folks up at Janestown. We can certainly do the NCR the, the quest to get the NCR off their back. Uh, we don't need to, to have Crazy Nightkin Grandma for that. Or um, we can do some stuff with the NCR, uh, do some more of their quests in uh, Camp McCarran, or uh, we can go into Vegas. And uh, Well, if we go to Vegas, into Vegas, I think I'll have basically two objectives. Get a dress for Veronica, and find Benny, because I've been putting that off a ludicrously long time. But we're getting down to the point where we really got to take care of it, folks. I've said that before, and I'll probably continue to say it for the next ten videos before we do anything about it. But it is coming eventually, folks. I promise you this LP will not end without me doing something about Benny. Because there's something about Benny, the hilarious new comedy from Ben Stiller. Uh, anyway, folks, uh, see you next time.